Today we are in Vienna. Royal, traditional, but still multifaceted and modern. Welcome to the capital of Austria. Your travel starts here, with us. You can choose the St. Stephen's Cathedral as a starting point for your tour. The Kärntner and Maria Hilfer Street are the shopping streets of Vienna. Here you can find almost everything. Coffee culture and delicious cakes. This is typical for Vienna. When you are in Vienna, you should once try the Sacher cake, but it doesn't have to be in the Kaffee Sacher. This is how the Sacher cake looks like, along with a small browner. The Danube flows through Vienna. In summer here are a lot of bars and cafes. Schönbrunn is one of the most beautiful palaces of Europe. And the garden is tremendous. From the hill at the other side, you can see the whole city. Impressed is he went here once in her carriage. And if you like the Schönbrunn Palace, then you would also like the Quartier Belvedere. It is close to the city center. The Baroque Palace complex is over 300 years old. Lots of sculptures array the walking paths. After a promenade you can eat an original Wiener Schnitzel in the Brewhaus Salmboy. Original Wiener Schnitzel because it's from Kauf, in contrast to the Schnitzel Wiener Art. On Saturday here is the big farmer's market. You can get fresh fruit, vegetables and wine. A lot of locals go to the Carmelita market and make this place to an insider's tip. We are now in the Naschmarkt. Sweet, salty or sour, here's something for everybody. A piece of Orient in Vienna. A bit touristic, but still recommendable. It smells different at every stall. You can buy your food and take it away or sit in one of the cafes. The big wheel is one of the landmarks of Vienna. It is here since 1897. The Prater is a famous attraction in Vienna. The amusement park is open daily. In the morning it is still quiet, but in the evening it's really crowded. The most pretentious buildings of Vienna you can find around the Hero Square, for example the Museum Quartier, the historical town hall and the Hofburg. In the Museum Quartier there are museums for every taste. You could be a whole day here. By the way, you can go to Vienna in every season. We recommend you a stay of at least four days. The parliament is also a few steps from the hero square. Here in this building is the political heart of Austria. The tour inside is really recommendable. The times for your language you may find online. And just across the parliament is the Volksgarten, where you can sit back and take the time to smell the roses. 
After having seen the city, you have here enough space to relax. Ciao, bye, aus Wien. And Bratislava is just one hour from Vienna, so watch our Bratislava video now.